and you know looking at the headstock of course and I will test um, and also improve the the static bearing surfaces to the doll tail and the back and front flats uh, it's not too shabby really but could be better could be improved so um, and of course this gives us the uh, the rear reference point here to the doll tail so that when this is um, and drawn into the doll tail here it shall be correct aligned along the bed uh, the length of the bed And I want to avoid uh, using shims here, so I will scrape it in so it's aligned uh, precisely. It wasn't too much out really, I'll test it a little bit. And these uh, pins go in here to follow. So the contour on the front. And uh, there are screws of course Do that and I'll tuck it to the front this way and I'll adjust here. Just like so. Just tuck it down. It doesn't have to be too hard now. This stage. And then we'll mount this, an indicator here to a test bar. So, see anything that? Then have something to measure on. Then we'll do the tests both uh, on top and to the side and here and here and also the the outer roundness here and this is the first test having just tightened the headstock to the original let's say surface and just running the the carriage loose here but to the rear way and uh, i've now um, centered uh, or let's say just uh, bump this in so I know and centered it up and down so you can see here when I then test it from here and out it moves like a little bit or in excess of two hundreds or well, around one thousandths of an inch in the wrong direction so that means that the headstock needs to be it a little bit to that direction so I have to scrape a little bit off the front here I mean on the on the door tail and um, how is the outer roundness well pretty good I'll zero the indicator here so you see it's uh, extremely good I think for this kind of machine at the end there. Surprisingly good. That means that the, the cone is not worn and very precise. And uh, I'll repeat the test on top here to see if I also have to tilt the headstock up or down. And I find the highest point just by manipulating, finding where is the highest here and then I fasten it there like so I set zero I can move it in first to set zero at the inside there and I set zero here
and then move it out again. And I'm around uh, two plus, which is the right direction, so it moves up. That is okay, really, on that little bit too much, so may have to tilt it a little bit down, which means um, more scraping, but on the other hand, it's not too bad, really, to have it a little bit high up there. I can, of course, use shims, so I use the lowest I have, or the thinnest I have, one hundredth of a millimeter, and I introduce three of those, just for testing. So these are very thin. I will then lift up here. Insert one there. Second one here. And the third one in the doll tail here. And then snug it down again. Because this this will uh, move in the direction I want it to go. We can see that now. If I do the same again. Find zero, or the highest point I'm in, here. Set zero, move out, bad zero, like so, and then move out, and then it is apparent that it now has moved a little bit less around. One hundred less, and what this means is that the length here, so the 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 movement arm, if we have this here, I uh, corrected with one hundred is almost the same as this distance here. So um, I may have to introduce a two hundred shim to tilt the headstock down if I want to. Really, I'm not certain if I want to that, do that. The side to side adjustment with one hundredth of a millimeter shim was, however, correctly adjusted. So having zero at the inside here, moving out, I have zero there. So it could be a little bit more probably to build in a little bit of um, extra, but it's really, uh, you can adjust it a little bit like so. Good. I will, however, do one more test before I really scrape it, because um, uh, I've now only snugged these bolts, but I will also, of course, then tighten from the underside of the headstock mounting bolts to see if that uh, changes the situation.